Nora sat there with her green shirt and blonde hair. What? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, green shirt and brown hair. Red shirt, brown hair. Got it. Michael, you're a terrible narrator. I'm not terrible, I'm just unreliable, Nora. It's a story element. <sighs> okay. Hey guys, Nor here, and here's how to write an unreliable narrator. But first, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell icon so you can get notified whenever I upload new videos. And if you haven't joined my Discord server yet, make sure you do so. The link is in the description below. That way you can chat with me and other writers. Let's get started! Unreliable narrators are so much fun to write, but they're not easy to write. But if you pull them off right, they're such a captivating read. I mean, just take a look at Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. The diary narrator is crazy out of her mind, but she portrays herself as this completely innocent woman. She fools us right from the start, while leaving little clues behind. So how exactly do you create an unreliable narrator that can both captivate and fool readers? First, make sure the narrator is unreliable immediately. You don't want them to seem fine and then on page 50 they start lying. That won't work on the reader and they'll only feel annoyed with you for trying to cheat them like that. An unreliable narrator should be unreliable right off the bat. Now it's not easy doing that since your reader has no reason to mistrust your narrator right away. Whatever the narrator says will sound believable because your reader doesn't really know other characters that much yet. Why shouldn't they believe the narrator? But at the same time, you don't want your narrator to seem crazy by immediately saying something like, everyone I know is a psycho, including my boyfriend, my mom, the mailman, and the employee at Walmart. If your narrator seems insane right away, your reader will also get frustrated and they won't be intrigued by the narrator. They'll know right away that they're being lied to by your narrator. Great unreliable narrators are great because they fool us readers, all while making us think that we're crazy for thinking there's something off about them. This is why you should utilize the tips I'm going to mention. Together, they'll make your reader sense that something is off about the narrator, but still doubt that sometimes. A great way to get started with that is to make your narrator both empathetic and compelling. Let's give our narrator a name to make this easier. Her name is Tam Tam, okay? Okay, cool. Tam Tam is a smart, sweet person who only wants what's best for those around her. She's even looking out for her neighbor. The only reason she watches her neighbor through their window is because she senses someone stalking them and she just wants to make sure that no harm befalls them. That's sweet enough, right? I mean, Tam Tam is just keeping her neighbor safe. Right away, we're given a nice enough motive, some good intentions even, while still sensing a dark mind. We might even sympathize with Tam Tam when she says that she's unappreciated by friends even though she goes out of her way to help them. She claims that she does a lot for them, but they just don't return the favor. How rude! They don't take her out to dinner, they don't ask her out on romantic dates, and they don't spoil her back. But then we get a glimpse at Tam Tam's interaction with her friends and notice how her friends tell her over and over that they don't need her help. They don't need her to clean their house or take out the trash. They don't need her to keep bringing food to their place. They didn't ask for help, and so there's no reason for them to appreciate her help. It becomes clear that Tam Tam is trying to manipulate her friends into liking her. This way, we sympathize with her at first, but then we realize something is amiss afterward. Using secondary characters to show that our narrator is unreliable is a really good tactic here. Secondary characters say things out loud that show the narrator's lie. Sure, maybe the narrator fooled us a bit, but seeing the other person's perspective makes us realize that we've only seen the picture through a narrow, biased lens. And that's the trick to an unreliable narrator. Also, make sure that your narrator misleads, omits information, and lies about information from the start. We don't necessarily need to know that we're being misled the second that we're lied to. A secondary character can reveal the lie a couple of pages later or in the next chapter. However, we should still be misled from the start, that way our narrator doesn't start out telling the truth and then switches halfway through the book, making us confused if the truth was a lie. And try to leave clues behind that your narrator isn't reliable. Maybe there are divorce papers next to their bed and a cracked picture frame of their son on the wall. 
Maybe they keep saying how their spouse was emotionally abusive and constantly criticized them, but then we get a glimpse at the empty alcohol bottles in the kitchen living room and realize there's more to the story. This is just a simple example, of course. An unreliable narrator might even go on and on about how a person they know might be dangerous because they killed someone, but then mention that the night of the murder, they were on drugs and can't recall a thing. A lack of memory is the narrator omitting information. Now maybe they really can't recall the event, but maybe they can recall it and they're just not telling us because they're the murderer and they're trying to blame the crime on someone else. An unreliable narrator can even hallucinate and claim to have seen things that we later realize never happened through newspaper headlines and secondary characters. For example, if they say they saw a person get murdered but then the next day the dead person walks into a store, we know that the narrator isn't really reliable and that anything they say might not be accurate. So those are my tips for you, but the best way to get better at writing unreliable narrators is to read books with unreliable narrators and see what tools other writers use to make their narrators both compelling and crazy. So be sure to read to learn even more. I'm curious, what books have you read with unreliable narrators and which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And this Friday, I have a newsletter coming out with a freebie just for you. So if you want to grab your freebie, make sure you go to my website, norzypro.com to sign up to my newsletter. The link to my website is down in the description below. There you have it, how to write an unreliable narrator. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, check out my others, and subscribe to support my channel. And remember, no for presidents.